think Andrew Tate probably has cancer. I think... Or, actually, no. This is going to be my hot take. <laughs> I can't believe I'm about to say this. But the main thing, the thing that I'm clickbaiting everyone with is, is Andrew, Andrew Tate dying? Andrew I Tate just saw this has lung cancer. That's Franco. a claim that Tate's manager was throwing out after it appeared that someone leaked his medical records, with it appearing to show that he had a lesion on one of his lungs. But Tate, who's imprisoned in Romania, or whoever the hell is running his Twitter account, says that none of that is true, claiming that lesion is just a scar from an old battle and that he'll live for 5,000 years. With Tate's manager also okay, now right. walking back his original claim, saying that Romanian doctors diagnosed the tumor in Tate's lung is benign. They follow to stay in the loop. Andrew Tate. So I saw that, and then I did a little bit of research, and I couldn't really find anything about it. But just as I was doing that, my guy, Pyro, uploaded an eight-minute video saying huge Andrew Tate cancer update. And he literally just posted this today, about an hour ago. So I haven't had time so to watch it. So a couple of days ago, I talked about the possibility of Andrew Tate say. having cancer, lung cancer to be specific. Now, this came out mostly through a medical document that was leaked online. Now it's in and... Wait, so... It wasn't even really, it was intentionally leaked trying to get him out of jail for medical purposes. If I just understood that correctly, it's like people thought that someone leaked it, but he leaked it. Sent okay. back to Dubai to conduct extensive medical tests. Now, what I've just explained to you sounds like the plot of a new Fast and Furious film. Can he get to the doctors in time? Can his life be saved? Find out by going to the IMAX theater. And of course, Twitter did what Twitter always does and was basically celebrating the guy's death before it even happened. <laughs> Been some updates. Twitter For example, his own people. manager came out and posted an Instagram story saying, The cancer story, it's true. I've been driving him to and from the hospital. No update yet. Now, to be a little bit of a contrarian, I find it very bizarre how Andrew Tate's own manager has beaten him to the punch. His own manager coming out and saying, yeah, he has cancer. I mean, you know, if that is Andrew Tate's manager, if it's real, you would think the manager would actually reach out to Andrew and say, hey, you know what? Maybe you want to break the story. Maybe it sounds better coming from you than your own manager basically snitching you up. And to make things even more confusing, people have done extensive reads on the medical document and they've found out that there's no actual mention of cancer. They can find a suspicious growth on his lung, but they don't think any of the cell growth is malignant or cancerous. Now, this is quickly turning into the biggest Scooby-Doo mystery of 2023. Does he have cancer or doesn't he? You basically have two. What do you what do you guys think? I think Andrew Tate probably has cancer just because of the amount of stuff he does. I think, or actually, no, this is going to be my hot take. <laughs> I can't believe I'm about to say this. Uh, I wouldn't be sad if Andrew Tate has cancer, right? But I, <clears throat> I have a strong feeling that this might be false and that him and his team are trying to do anything to get him out of that Romanian jail. Because, I mean, have you seen that man since he went to that jail? He's not looking too good. And I don't think he's used to living like a jail guy. He's more of a rich guy. You know? So, it might just so happenstance be that he had some sort of injury that made a mass in his lung. Or he already knew he had a benign lung mass. And now they are might be you know, weaving a slightly different story saying, no, he uh, he has cancer and he needs to be released from this Romanian jail so that he can elude justice, pretty much. And <laughs> I'm not trying to be cynical, but that seems like a more believable story than someone who claims to be in perfect health having cancer. I mean, I'm not an Andrew Tate fan. I, I hope you guys would know that, but I think that uh, it, it, the guy probably does keep himself in pretty good shape. I mean, his claims that he's going to live for 5,000 years and like he has no damage to his lungs must be false to some degree, but it seems, I don't know, I, I kind of lost my train of thought there. Um, sorry, ADHD. Uh, wow. Um, my God, I just hard lost my train of thought. Um, oh, okay. 
I think that the story is more plausible that Andrew Tate's team is making up the cancer to try to get him out of jail than him actually having a malignant cancerous tumor. I'll leave it at that. Two camps at the minute. The people that hate Andrew Tate and they just want him to die, thinking it'll improve their life somehow. I mean, they'll probably feel better for five minutes and then go back to hating themselves. And then you have the other half that will happily jump off a cliff for him like lemmings and then buy his influencer program. Those people as well also hate themselves. And then, of course, you have the third party I don't like to talk about. Dick riders like Aiden Ross. Aiden Ross, of course, came out and said, I'm so pleased, Andrew Tate. I'm so sorry, bro. And the thing is, Aiden Ross's dick riding was that bad. If you go onto his tweet right now, Twitter employees have hijacked it basically saying this is bullshit wait wait what all right wait they really just confirmed andrew tate got lung cancer fuck cancer praying for my brother free tristan and andrew tate immediately they are innocent and then twitter correctly rated helpful so this is like a bot i guess that they have Andrew Tate has since released a statement confirming he does not have cancer. Because if you click on Aiden Ross's tweet right now, name. it'll actually redirect you to a recent tweet that Andrew Tate made saying that he doesn't have cancer. Due to a recent Wait, tweet. that's hilarious. The Twitter AI is kind of fucking things up here. The Twitter AI is spreading false news. Oh my god. Because we don't know if it's true or not. Aiden is saying that it has cancer, but the AI that does misinformation on Twitter, Twitter have is seeing it. Andrew Tate tweet that he doesn't have cancer. Oh my god, where is it? Actually redirect you to a recent tweet. Saying that he doesn't have cancer, and they're saying that uh, Aiden Ross's tweet is fake, like false news. That Andrew Tate made saying That's that hilarious. he doesn't have cancer. So he's came a hay rise because that tweet I just read out, if you go onto the hidden replies, I scrolled for around three minutes. There is still no end to it. I think they've unironically clicked hide replies on around a thousand plus accounts. Now to make the situation even more confusing somehow, Romanian officials conducted their own tests on Andrew Tate and they found no trace of cancer. They did find a See, I'm telling you guys, they're trying to make it up to get him out of jail. The tumor, but they concluded that it was benign. And another layer onto that story, the doctor that originally wrote the medical letter saying, you know, we need to get him out of the country, he is going to die. That doctor has been found out to be having loads of selfies and photos with Andrew Tate and recently spent the... Romanian, Romania refutes Andrew Tate's claim of cancer. They say he was tested and the tumor is benign. The doctor who diagnosed Tate has since covered up his tracks on Instagram, deleting photos he posted hanging out with Tate. Past attention. couple of days, scrubbing his social media to, you know, basically have no interactions with the guy. So there's a possible game theory going around at the minute that he never had cancer. And he knew that he never had cancer. But by fooling the Romanian Yo, was my hot take, he right? could have been flown out to Dubai, UAE, had the medical testing. And then when it was time to actually be brought back to Romania, he could have just said, no, I don't think I will. And because of the very lax extradition laws that UAE has, he probably would have been fine. But obviously the people in Romania did their own tests on him. They didn't find anything. So he couldn't yeah, really exactly. double down that's on that. Was, that's so what I thought it was going to be. came out saying, I, I never had cancer. Alternatively, again, to be devil's advocate, Andrew Tate did no wrongdoing whatsoever. Oh, he okay. had no idea about any of this like ploy yeah. to get him out of the country. Just all of his cronies planned it and he could do no wrong. Basically, if you're looking at that game theory, all of his cronies planned a payday two tier jailbreak and he had no idea. Now, Ooh. looking more into the medical document, because it's basically all book confirmed at this point, there's mentions of some popcorn calcifications, which are linked to hamatomas, which uh, themselves are cell growths, which are weird, but they're benign. They're not cancerous. I've also seen some more game theories about right, people saying so... that the doctor was basically paid to kind of falsify the document, make it out that it was a much more serious situation than what it was, to get him out of the country so he wouldn't be taken back. Now, that game theory, a lot of people are replying by saying, take your meds, which is fair. I mean, there's no actual proof of that but if you do look into it again like i mentioned earlier uh dubai uae they have very very lax extradition laws so here's an example right many countries have very good extradition treaties with the us for example you do something in the uk right, yeah, we, we know about this the they uae won't have extradite much easier him. time avoiding any so that's pretty much uh that's that's all of the i'm going to talk about with andrew tate right now i'm not like i just I think it's kind of funny, like, trying to play the I have cancer card to get out of jail. That's, like, such a weird cop. Like, uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's just, it's so fucking weird. Um, but uh, that's that's the end of that. Um, we're not going to finish watching Pyro's video. He's just talking about, I think, just going to talk about, like, extradition 
and stuff, which uh, doesn't really pertain to Andrew Tate that much. But uh, just go to a, if you ever commit a crime, go to a country that doesn't extradite to the U.S. because that is your best bet.